Hi, it's Mike with Badger Creek Firearms. Today we're going to take a look at an 1873 Winchester. This particular model, model was made around 1900 and it's chambered in 3220. An 1873 Winchester can be identified by the plates on either side of the receiver. There's one screw that holds both plates on. You take the plates off to get to the mechanism that operates this gun. The lever has a lock on the bottom of the stock that twists to lock the lever in the upward position so it doesn't vibrate down while you're riding your horse. You have to unlock that, twist that a quarter turn in order to work the lever on this gun. There's a brass lifter that is in the lower position right now. It's kind of tough to see because it's faded on this gun. It's stamped 32. They stamped the calibers on the bottom of the lifter on the original Winchesters. This one has a 32 on it. With, with the lever pulled all the way up, the lifter's at the bottom. The bullets come down the tube and rest on top of that lifter. When you raise the lever, the lifter raises the bullet up in line with the barrel. The bolt assembly with the firing pin goes forward as you pull the lever back up and pushes the bullet into place and you're ready to fire. The next cycle, you pull the lever down, it ejects the old cartridge, a new one is raised on the lever, on the, on the lifter, and you push it back forward with the lever and you're ready to go again. The bolt also pulls the hammer back as you're working the lever. It's a pretty good idea, pretty simple way of building a rifle, and it's, this is a pretty early rifle. This gun has a, a loading gate on the side of it. That's called a King's Patent loading design and the bullets are fed into the magazine tube through that opening in the side of the receiver. As you can see this side of the receiver also has a plate on it like the other side. That's the main way that you can tell an 1873 Winchester is by the plates on either side of the receiver. If this is in focus you should be able to see the 32 caliber that is actually stamped on the brass lifter where the ammunition is fed into this gun. This is the dust cover open with the lever all the way in the closed position and you see the bolt pushed all the way forward. This is with the lever in the fully open position and with the lifter pushed all the way up into place for the bullet to push into the chamber. This is a close-up showing the side plate as well as the King's Patent loading gate. Dust cover is pushed all the way back in this position. 